If you are looking for a powerful, robust and fast coastal explorer yacht for exciting day trips regardless of the sea state that is under 30 foot LOA, then I think you will like the brand new Arxon 28. In this video, we are going to go on a walkthrough of the 28 in what will be the first Arxon 28 walkthrough video on YouTube. Please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel because in the next couple of weeks I'll be heading down to Southampton to take part in some sea trials of the 28 and that's something you won't want to miss. If you're a channel member then you can find out more about my upcoming trip via the community tab on my YouTube page. The Arxon 28 is the result of a brand new joint venture between Exo Boats and Arxon. And the Arxon 28 with its military grade aluminium hull is the entry model of the Arxon Adventure series of boats. The 28 has a length overall of 8.57 meters with a beam of 2.55 meters. She is capable of over 40 knots and has a range of over 200 nautical miles. Starting on the stern of the boat, on the port side are some fold down bathing steps for easy access. On both the port and starboard side, there are large storage areas under the aft deck. There's a comfortable seating arrangement in the cockpit and as we head forward through the sliding door, we enter the saloon. The L-shaped sofa in the saloon also converts to a daybed. Next to the suspension co-pilot seat are these handy cup holders. And when the sea starts to get a bit lumpy, whoever is lucky enough to be sat in this incredibly comfortable seat can also help secure themselves with this handrail. I did not realise it at the time, but Arxon and Exo Boats have managed to fit a toilet compartment in here. Make sure you subscribe because I'll reveal more about that during the sea trial. I love this LED strip lighting that can be found just forward of the large sunroof. Between the co-pilot seat and the helm position is this door that leads out onto the forward cockpit. But as we pan round to port and take a look at the saloon, you get an idea of just how great the 360 degree views in the Arxon 28 really are. The Arxon 28 comes with heating and air conditioning options so she is just as well suited to the colder climates as the warmer ones. On the starboard side of the saloon, an owner can choose to have either additional seating or, as is the case here, the owner can elect to have a pantry unit that comes with hot and cold running water cooking facilities and a fridge. This boat is rated as RCD Category B for up to six passengers or RCD Category C for up to eight passengers. The boat offers exceptional ride comfort and handling in rough weather. And my regular viewers will already know just how much I love cruising in choppy conditions. Her efficient hull with its high load carrying capacity neatly slices through the waves. Arxon offers potential buyers the option of syndicated and boat club ownership for more accessible and flexible ownership. Personally, I would be a great partner for syndicated ownership because I would be taking the 28 out in conditions most people would probably not want to go out in, meaning that my syndicated ownership partners could enjoy the flat calm seas. As we head out into the forward cockpit, note the additional underseat storage and of course, the well laid out seating areas. The hand rails atop the gunnels in the forward cockpit will ensure that when the sea does start to get a bit choppy, then your passengers will have something solid and sturdy to grab onto. I love how Arxon and Exo boats have managed to create a vessel that effortlessly marries up tough and rugged sea keeping mobility with an elegant interior and finishes that you would typically find on much larger yachts. Arxon has said that part of their aim with the Arxon Adventure Series is to connect people to the ocean. And thanks to the plentiful outdoor seating and the enclosed all-weather pilot house with its 360 degree visibility, I think Arxon and Exo Boats have achieved this aim. But what do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. 
And remember, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss out on the sea trial video. When it comes to a choice of single outboard engine for the Arxon 28, a buyer can opt for anything up to a 450 horsepower engine. The cruising speed of the Arxon 28 is an impressive 25 knots, and with a draft of just 0.9 meters, you can easily get into those hard to reach places around the coastline. Personally, I think that this boat is also an ideal vessel for first timers who want to get out on the water. The fact that she has a static defender around the hull, along with the sculpted aft fenders, means that you will get a certain amount of leeway when it comes to coming back alongside after a day out on the water. After all, nobody likes to see dents and scratches on the hull of any boat. If you've got any questions about the Arxon 28, then be sure to leave them in the comments and I will get an answer for you when I visit Arxon next month. It is also worth pointing out that if you buy an Arxon 28, then you will get access to Arxon's Explorers Club, which offers bespoke expeditions plus any training and support as required. But where would you take your Arxon 28? Let me know in the comments below. But what about cost? Well, the Arxon 28 starts from £205,000 excluding VAT and excluding the engine. I am looking forward to heading out to sea on the Arxon 28 in what I hope will be some pretty choppy conditions in the English Channel. As long as my drone does not turn into a submarine, then I'm hoping to be able to bring you some great shots. So please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel for updates. I am working on a little project at the moment, so if you live in any of these areas and you have got a boat that you are thinking about selling, then please feel free to contact me via the email address on the screen. Don't forget to come and find me on Instagram for updates in terms of what I'm doing and where I'm going. Just go on Instagram and search for Yacht Boy, boy spelled B-U-O-Y. If you'd like to become a member of my channel, then click on the join button that you'll find underneath the video or follow the link in the video description. YouTube's channel membership is basically their version of Patreon. As ever, I'd like to say a big thank you to these individuals for joining my channel as channel members. I really do appreciate your support. Thanks for watching. The video that's gonna appear in the top left hand of your screen any second now is one of my videos that YouTube thinks you'll love, so please feel free to check it out. Also, don't forget to check out my other playlists. I've got lots of videos, many of which you probably haven't seen yet. So until next time, fair winds and following seas.